Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is finally that time of year in Michigan when things slow down for the winter season. Last night a beautiful blanket of snow covered everything and I thought it would be a fitting time to start a video series about solar power. The first thing that I want to do in this series is unbox a new toy that came by FedEx not that long ago and it is a Renogy 200 watt solar panel in a briefcase. So today as the first in this series we're going to unbox that step inside the nice warm barn. Won't you join me? Hi everyone welcome inside. Today I want to do an unboxing of this fellow right here, the uh, Renogy 200 watt solar panel in a suitcase. Earlier I referred to it as a solar panel in a briefcase. Suitcase is a much better word for it. This is a fairly large item, so suitcase fits better than briefcase. I opened it up earlier and uh, inside was this little item that uh, is, a, is a pretty good sized weed to connect to my battery. And I'm gonna to connect to that to the battery in just a bit here. So we'll set that aside for now. The box that it came in straight from Canada, looks like this. It was well packaged. It was undamaged. And it was large enough to fit some, uh, some nice protection for it in the form of four of these little corner protectors that were, that were out here, like so. And uh, I think that went a long ways towards keeping any damage off the product itself. So here it is in its little case. You can, you can carry it around fairly easy, but it's still 40 pounds. So having a, having a substantial case around like this is gonna come in real handy stuffing it in and out of uh, vehicles, campers, or whatever you're going to take it with you in. Zip down both ends. And you can see that the case is fairly substantial, so I really like that. I think it'll go a long ways towards allowing me to mess it up while I'm playing with it. Get out of the case. There is to it, and I'll show you what's inside. The cost to me shipped from Canada was $522, and that's a little more than you have to spend. But I chose to buy a couple of accessories that were listed on their site. One was the SAE connector, so if I wanted a quick disconnect to uh, maybe my van or a camper, it looked handy, so I bought it. And then I also bought 20 feet of additional cable, hoping that will help me keep this in the sun while the uh, item I'm camping in is in the shade. It has a, a bit of a lead to it inside, but I didn't think it was a long enough one, so I think that's a really good addition to have. So that's what I got for $522. That's the normal going rate. And energy doesn't favor me in any way, they don't even want to do the video. But here's what it looks like inside. Two little clasps, fold it shut as a suitcase. Inside it's pretty simple. I know very, very little other than what I've read and watched on YouTube about solar. This is the first one I've ever had. I think it's the first one I've ever touched. Uh, I do know that each solar panel, no matter how you rig your system, needs a charge controller. And there's this uh, right here, it's hinged, so when it's set up, it kind of dangles there and faces you. This is the connection that goes to those alligator clips I was showing you earlier. And then this connection here connects the panels themselves to the controller. One thing I thought was uh, important, I, I read the instructions, and it said, don't connect these together, the controller and the panel together, until you have a battery. 
because if the panel picks up sun and it's trying to move the power somewhere and has nowhere to go, apparently it can damage this unit. So that's what the direction said. There's a warning click on the first page. Getting the angle you want so that you can see the sun, it can see the sun the best, is accomplished just with two little thumb screws. You don't have to be really accurate here because adjustment once it's up is really easy. So you get the little legs positioned how you want them. Turn it around so that you can see what we're going to do on the back of this thing. But that is the panels themselves. Charge controller has a little piece of Velcro behind it to hold it tight to that, to the back of the panel. If it's raining or something, it gets a little less rain on. This is supposed to be a waterproof item as well, so I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> but there's what it looks like if you want to read the display or you want to play with any of the buttons that are on there. And then I'm going to get my battery out and plug it in and see what happens. The batteries that I bought a while back, I haven't had much of a chance to play with yet, but I bought a couple of uh, Battleborn 100 amp batteries, there's just one in here, and then I bought a little uh, device, a monitor, that helps me see what's coming and what's going into the batteries as I start to figure out what I can really do or not do with this much solar, that much battery. So I'm going to plug these in. The plugs are really nice. You cannot mess it up. It's like a male-female thing. Connect positive and negative. And it lights up our little display. And then we're safe to plug the controller in. And it's going through a little bit of a sequence here. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it all means yet because I haven't finished reading the manual. I haven't gotten ready to actually go and power something with it. It's snowy, cold, and not much sun going on here in Michigan at this time, so uh, we're not going to be able to play with it until we have some sunny days. But that is what it looks like. The little uh, buttons here help you decide what kind of battery that uh, you want to have it connected to. It gives you like five different choices. It shows us that I've got 13.3 volts right now uh, coming from this battery. So that's good. That means the Battleborn battery is nice and charged. So that brings us pretty close to the end of what I'm able to show you today. And I'm looking forward to familiarizing myself more with loads from the battery, different devices that I can attach to this, see just what it will and won't do, how far we can go with a setup of this type. So that brings us to the end, the best part of the video so far, and that's coffee time. So I'm glad you joined us. Look forward to digging into this a little further. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Mm.